actually was a pretty leisurely start to the day today. No three o'clock alarm bells ringing. The boys aim to release a fishing video onto YouTube on the 15th and the 30th of every month. But today is the 28th of October and as good as I am at turning videos around, there ain't no way I'm gonna get this one filmed and edited by the 30th. So my apologies, we missed one, but we ain't stopping for nothing. The boys are fishing and having a ton of fun. Today is off to a awesome start already. As always, the live bait tank looks good and the weather looks good. So we have left the harbor, but on the way out of the harbor, as always, we checked the marker poles and the marker poles had fish. One marker pole had a couple of real nice fish but just looking at the way they were swimming around in the water, that being slowly and lethargically, when the fish have that slow lethargic look to them, they just don't eat. You can look at a fish, well, sorry, we've learnt, but you can look at a fish and pretty much tell if he's gonna eat or not by the way he's swimming and the way he's acting. But the last marker pole on the way out of the harbour did have fish on it and it got, the live bait got smashed instantly. So the boys are already on the board. It was nothing massive. It didn't really uh, do too much damage to Milan, but that's all good. It's a great start to the day. But yeah, as I said, the weather is awesome. So the boys are outside the harbour. We have just dropped the live bait in and around a little island that has good kingfish habitat, good, well, just good fish habitat around it. Beautiful little rocks and weed lines and drop offs and everything else. So fishing here, for as long as the weather will allow. There is like 15 to, I think it's like 10 to 15 knots coming up. Later on today, when that happens, we'll be back inside the harbour. Spend the evening time in the harbour, find something to do, hopefully go and catch something to eat, is always my plan. And then, yeah, just enjoy that beautiful harbour. We'll be fully sheltered where we're gonna be. And from there, overnight tonight in the harbour. And then tomorrow morning, we are up early and NATO is on a fishing rod. Bring it on. Well, with the tide the way it is, I reckon we go and make a coffee, have a bite to eat. There's birds working on the surface over there that are coming up and there's heaps of car wire here. And I'm still not certain there's no kingfish here. So I think wait for the tide to start pumping. We've got a high tide now. Come back in like half an hour, give it a go. And if not, back in the harbor. We'll find something interesting to do on the way back in.
got him? No, I... Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, look at the king trying to Oh, he's it. trying to eat it. Milan's <laughs> hooked the, the, the carway, trying to hook a kingfish, and now the kingfish is trying to eat the carway. Oh, there he is. There he is, right on it. <laughs> Sluggo in the water. Where is he? Just in the back of the boat. Oh, he eats the Sluggo! Wheelan <laughs> <laughs> <Milan> got him! <laughs> uh, it's good fun, man. <laughs> Kilo, mate. <laughs> it could happen, man. Yep. Remember that day where we were fighting that kingfish, and then that other kingfish came up behind yep. the kingfish you had hooked, <laughs> yep. and it was almost big enough to eat the one you had hooked. So it is possible. <laughs> 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 Long skinny fish, looking ready for some summer. <laughs> <laughs> he's had his fat season, he's going into summer. <laughs> he needs to eat, man. There it is, people. The very first signs of summer. <laughs> Getting burnt to the cinder. So far, so very, very good. <laughs> I got a smile from ear to ear. Hanging out on the water and just trying to catch a fish is awesome. Milan right now has a hot frying pan in front of him and he is about to cook the boys dinner. We're gonna have an early dinner because at the moment it doesn't get dark until like eight o'clock and we want to fish right up until dark. So then by the time you sort dinner out and get anchored and everything else, you're looking at 10, 11 o'clock. And it wasn't a super early start this morning but it was somewhat of an early start. So yeah, an early night would be good as well. Once the dishes are done, then I'm gonna go see if I can find a couple of snappers to take home with my little wee soft bait set up. Should be good fun. <laughs> Chad, all I wanna do is fish. Yep. Sometimes the things that you want in life the most, you just can't have, man. Here they come, they're in the air. The plan was to go up the harbour and just basically drift up the channels, drift where the wind pushes us, drift where the current takes us, and soft bait our way up there until we caught a fish. And when we caught a fish, we were going to drop the anchor pump early and catch all the snapper that we needed to fill our bellies when we got home. We didn't catch a single one. <laughs> I didn't even get a bite, I don't think, on my soft bait the whole afternoon. So once the boys failed, we found somewhere to anchor and we didn't fail at that. We found an awesome spot to spend the night. It was beautifully flat and we prepared ourselves. The tent went up, had a little bit of something else to eat, said our good nights and went to bed. When I got into my tent last night, there was mosquitoes on the wall. And when I say mosquitoes on the wall, I mean a heap of mosquitoes on the wall. I would have spent like 15 or 20 minutes with a t-shirt squishing them to the wall after I zipped my tent up tight. And then once I got into bed, I heard banging and crashing down below and guess that Milan was doing the same thing. I woke up this morning to, that was the worst night's sleep I've ever had on the boat. And <laughs> apparently Milan's tent, well Milan's little cubby hole last night was chocolate block full of mosquitoes, buzzing around his head, and he didn't get much sleep. That's okay, he's got a smile on his face. We've had coffee, we've put some porridge in the belly. Milan remembered the porridge this time, and today's plan is gonna be far more successful than yesterday's plan. Today's plan is to get outside the harbour, and there's a surf beach along the front of the harbour here, and on that surf beach, right up in the breakers there, there has been talk of 
big schools of snapper smashing bait fish up in the shallows. And it's something that we've heard multiple times over the years, and it's something that we've wanted to do multiple times over the years, and we've just never done it. So yes, today's plan is to go soft baiting along that surf beach. If I get some live baits, then we'll have a live bait in tow while we're doing that as well. All we want out of today, as all we want out of any one of these trips, is just to get a feed. If we can just take some snapper home, considering we haven't eaten any snapper on this trip, that would be amazingly awesome. Hope to do just that. Here we go. I've got to find Excalibur. The sun's up. Looks like holy shamoli's time. Holy shamoli. Should have been here an hour ago. There you are. You weren't chasing mosquitoes around half the night, you would have woken up earlier. I got up at five. <laughs> First cast of the morning, did you see that? Yep, perfect. It's wicked. It's only like seven metres, eh? Seven metres. Seven metres. You got him. I got one, me lad. Is it a snapper though? And how big is it? Whatever it is, it's tiny. <laughs> but it could be a good start. It's gonna be a whopper, he said. I can't even pull line off this ridiculously little small reel, so. <laughs> Oh, I just did it, look. Woken up. It's woken up, Nato. It was never asleep, man. Snapper. Well, it's a target species. <laughs> it was a keeper it until was. you let it go. Come on, dude. <laughs> Get him in the bin. It's okay. Daytime. Oh, it's a good one, man. It's a ring burner. We're eating this one, bro. <laughs> if we get this one in the boat, though. Don't be like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> oi, 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 oi. <laughs> well, well, the plan's working. <laughs> Provided we can put a couple of these in the boat, the smile on my face is just going to get bigger and bigger. <laughs> Not only do I have hero drag, but I've got a hero reel. <laughs> but I reckon I could probably get a bit more out of it. I reckon you could pump it a little bit harder than that. Yeah. That slowed him down, didn't it? The light gear does make it a little bit more fun, eh? Yeah. <laughs> They're cool little reels. Yeah. Especially for this type of stuff over the sand. I thought I'd hit the, the, the old hook the bottom. It's like, is that the bottom? Or is that a fish? Turns out, it's a fish. Oh yeah, look at that, mainland. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> it's hard to gauge how big the fish are because you're not used to catching them on such light gear. That's, that's nice. Awesome fish. Beauty, mate, come here. Catch another one of those, then we got one each. Can we just catch this one first? <laughs> <laughs> Nice fish, Nato. Yeah. Oh, dude. We've talked about going and fishing along this little surf beach here for I don't know how long. We hear stories of good snapper fishing on soft baits out here, and it is true and correct. The boys have got something to eat. Wicked. It's a bit of an art form, this putting the little tiny Soft baits onto a little tiny jiggy. I think that'll pass. If I was a snapper, I'd eat it. After catching that one awesome, beautiful, gonna be real tasty snapper this morning, the boys just couldn't find a thing else. We went in closer to the island, closer to the surf beach, tried shallower water. Then went out to the deeper water and tried deeper water. And then we went out to the island where Milan was kingy fishing yesterday and basically just tried to catch something to eat, take home. I soft baited the whole time. Milan did a bit of stick baiting, a bit of live baiting, and in the end just ended up plucking a couple of kawai out of a kawai school to take home so that we've got something in the chili bin. 
And then Milan's like, well, what about we go back into the harbour and try and catch a kingfish? And if we can catch a kingfish, we'll take that home and eat that. And I'm like, yep, I'm in. So we went charging back into the harbour, checking the marker poles along the way. And the very first marker pole at the exit or the entrance or whatever you want to call it to the harbour had a kingfish swimming in around underneath it, beside it, which uh, got me very, very excited. Milan cast a live bait in there. The kingfish had a look at the live bait, but didn't eat it. Then Milan cast a lure in there. He had a look at that and didn't eat it. The kingfish was more uh, worried about playing with the marker pole, rubbing himself on the marker boy than he was about pretty much anything else. So we carried on driving up into the harbour, checked a couple other marker poles, had a quick look at them, but nah, didn't really see anything too flash. So the anchor is down, Milan has just put two burly bombs in the water. We're going to sit here and hope that we can catch something, some snappers, trevally, kawa, anything. We do have enough food to take home, but I only really like eating kawa on the day that we've caught it. So other than the kawa that we've got to eat tonight, we've only got one snapper. So some more snapper would be awesome. And the last time we came fishing in the harbour, we anchored in this very same spot and Milan and Andre filled up the chilli bin. So if we can do that again today, whilst Milan's cooking something for the boys to eat, it will be all good. Bring it on. Lunch, lots of fish, and then we'll be headed home. Wicked. Hey. Rob, well, I've got two on here. It's Milan reckons he's got a good snapper. He's got two rods out. I think he's got a tangle as well. Oh, my jug's going. The jug's boiling. Oh, Two rods are going off. Oh, no, you are tangled, man. I'm not tangled now. <laughs> you reckon that one's a snapper? No, I must still be tangled. Trevally. Trevally? Yeah. Even better. Look at it shaking its head. If this is a big, if this is a trevally, it's giant. Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's good. Look at the head shakes on it. Yeah, I see them. Bang, bang, bang. Get him in the boat, Milan. Trevally would be awesome, man. Come on, Milan. It's a good fisher, right, eh? That's on yeah. the on the um, on sur tape. The, yeah. Come on, Milan. Deliver for the boys. I'm trying. I'm, uh, unless I foul hooked it. I hope not. I hope it's a real big Trevally. Whatever it is. See it. it is a Trevor. Never unhappy to see a Trevor. Oh, it's a massive Trevally Milan. Get him in the boat. He <laughs> dives. Don't lose him. Oh, beauty. Look at the size of that one. That is wicked. Almost as big as your snapper, bro. It's bigger than my snapper. Nah, your snapper was massive. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think you win, man. I think he's going to be yummy tonight for dinner, I can tell you that. Yeah, right he's awesome. That'd be one of the biggest ones we've caught in the harbour, wouldn't it? He's crunching a lot. It's pretty cool how one fish can just go from, you know, it's been a bit of a struggle, we've got a little bit to eat, to, whoa, we've got a big trevally in the harbour. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> That's beauty, mate. Beauty, mate. I like your work, Milan. I like that. That's real good. So real good. Professional, even. <laughs> I don't know about professional. Just came in here, you know, just put one out. <laughs> you was going to come here and catch Trevally. That was the idea of coming here in the first place. Just like every spot today, it was gonna, it was gonna, but it just didn't gonna. Back to coffee making after we were so awesomely, welcomely interrupted. Well, I say that, and Milan's just put a second bait in the water. Milan's gone and done it again. Coffee's been sidetracked once more. It is a snapper. It is a snapper. Yeah. Happily sidetracked, though, eh? Coffee poured. You did it. And you caught fish. So You're amazing. Snapper and a trevally just like that. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> I 
think I've got a trevally, Nathan. <laughs> you could be right there, Milan. <laughs> Perfect, really, isn't it? Ween, 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 ween. <laughs> Where the hell is lunch? Excuse me, Milan. You're supposed to be making lunch, man. First run is done. I haven't even got our mushrooms on. We've got mushrooms. Yeah. Nice. Hey, trying to cook yeah. lunch, trying to catch fish, trying to untangle tangles. That one's not a bad tangle. <laughs> oh, oh, now it looks bad. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> now it looks real bad. Fish is under the boat. You get it? No. Can I help? Should I put the camera down and stop laughing at you and help? <laughs> you know what it's like that way. If it didn't get formed, it didn't happen, man. I don't even understand what's going on. It's one way or the other way. That's it. You did it. It's got to go that way. What do I do? Yeah, under. Under the rod. No, no. Over your arm. Yep. Under the rod. Oh, what did I knock in? Didn't go in the water. <laughs> yep. One more time. That's it. You did it. <laughs> Grunter number two. Grunter number two. Thank you, Mr. Trevelli. You are a very welcome sight after a couple of days struggling to get something to eat. There it is. That's what's been doing the damage. Billy on a stick. Fishing's good when the cameraman's catching fish, eh? <laughs> it's another Trevor too. Mm. <laughs> oh, I love it when you catch fish, eh? <laughs> Is it time to go home, Milan? Time to go home. Caught heaps of big fish for you, you know. You did well. Struggled. Struggled this trip, but that's fishing. Can't always get perfect fishing trips, otherwise you'd never go fishing anymore. <laughs> you get bored of it. You would. Didn't even get your fly right out, eh? Well, that is it for this one. Chur chur, my brothers and sisters. Thank you all so very, very much for watching The Lateral Line. It is very much appreciated. And the last few times around, I've been thanking people for their awesome comments. And then I've had more people saying, dude, can you do a chur chur to us as well? So I've literally got a bit of a list here. And Deco, West Coast Aussie, chur chur, my brother. Thanks for watching. Big brother Simo, we appreciate the comments, my man. Gerbrand and his dad, Andre, in South Africa. Thank you very, very much for your comments, my man. They are very much appreciated. Dino Benito and to anyone else that I've missed, we honestly, truly, greatly appreciate you watching, commenting, liking the video, doing all the things that make us successful at YouTube. I will leave you with another build video of Milan's house. He is slowly getting through it. Cha cha. You did make a build video, eh? Yeah, I'm halfway through it. You're halfway through it. Well, you best hurry up, man. <laughs> I think the hardest thing about building a house is the constant backlog of jobs that need to be achieved and you have no time to spare. After one part of the build is finished, it's on to the next. There's no tools down and relaxing as the house just doesn't build itself. It's a relentless draw on the body. Every day when you down tools, you are just exhausted, but always smiling at your own achievements. 
But having the opportunity to build your house doesn't come along every day. And it's just awesome to learn so many skills from Andre. The house was starting to look more like a home every day now. And with the joinery turning up and slotting into their allocated holes, it really transformed the build. From here on in, it's kind of watertight, so the framing can really start to dry out, as I can imagine Andre's gonna to wanna to start lining in the next month. The only opening left is the front doors. I found some old reclaimed front doors down in Gisborne that originally came out of an old commercial building in Auckland. They had done a lot of Ks, but now I think they're gonna find their resting place in Morrinsville. First, they needed some TLC from Mouse of Morrinsville Industries. I asked if he could leave the doors alone and re-hinge and build a solid sill, jam and head to make sure they looked the part as they were the entry into the heart of the home. Watching all the guys do what they do with passion and even song is awesome to see. People doing what they do and doing it well, even the scaffolders, turning up laughing and singing as they lifted and shifted heavy plant around the site. Everything was done to a system as they work together every day and know how to make the process easy and fast, working as a well-oiled machine. Then the batten man turned up. Within a day they had fully levelled out the brackets and pretty much battened off the whole house, made easy with their stilts, as working at 2.4 metres day in, day out isn't the best with ladders. With the sun shining down on the building site, the mood has changed. T-shirts are getting shorter and the days longer. Hopefully the energy stays high for the longer days ahead. But so far, as stressful as building a house can be, I've loved every minute. The Lateral Line is proudly brought to you by Violet Organic Foods.